Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is an overview of WatchOS 3 Beta. With WatchOS 3, Apple has made a move in the right direction with the interface. The interface is all new, and you can see we've got a rotating dial clock or watch face here, and then in the background are activity rings. And if I tap there or touch a little bit, you'll see the activity rings. And I haven't used this much today, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. In the upper left, we have the heart rate, in the upper right, activity and weather on the bottom. And this is of course customizable by pushing and hitting customize. But the whole interface is really reworked. So if I scroll down, we've got notifications like normal. If I scroll up now, we no longer have glances down here. We basically have a command center or quick actions. So we've got it silenced. We've got battery, airport, do not disturb, lock, and music. And pretty simple. And it actually makes more sense to put it there. If we scroll to the left, nothing here. But if we scroll right, we've got more watch faces. So for example, the idea is we have one for, say, day-to-day -day activity. We have a specific activity watch for the activity face of the watch. Scroll again, just the time, and we can just keep going and have more and more and more. And you'll see it's a little bit slow, but actually overall it's much faster than before. But it is a beta, so there will be bugs, and I definitely don't recommend downloading this. Uh, you actually can't use this unless you have iOS 10, and you have to have a developer access or access to a developer account. Now, the other thing we can do is if we hit the home button here or the, the wheel, we get our apps just like before, hit it again, we go back, hold it, we get Siri, and it comes up much faster than before. If we tap this button, which used to bring up contacts, we tap this now, and we've got quick actions or quick ways to the apps we were using. And everything is much quicker now. So if I go, oops, I go back, let's go back, uh, we'll go into messaging. And messaging is new too. So within messaging, let me go back first. And then if we hold this button, similar to before, we can power it off, medical ID, or send an SOS emergency. So we can call 911, something like that. Uh, really helpful for some people uh, if you're in a crisis situation. The other thing we have that's new is in messages. There's a lot of new little things, and we're not going to cover every little thing, but I wanted to show you the major differences in a quick little video. So you'll see we have emojis. We can now just have our quick replies, but we can actually not, ins instead of just dictating, we can actually draw the letters now. So if we want to do letter by letter, there's an A, B, C, D, you get the idea. And then we've got space back and then we've got different symbols. So we can do that as well. So pretty neat, we can do that. We've got emojis and we've got all sorts of those in here. And we've got what we had before. So nothing really crazy, but it looks a little bit different. And you saw it hiccup there just a second. Overall, it works really well. It's definitely a lot faster. Battery seems to be a little bit worse, but that's because it's got some background apps running now to make everything nice and fast. So basically, that's the quick overview. Everything else is so far the same for the most part, but it definitely responds faster and things move in and out faster. There's a lot of differences, <laughs> and I must have woke my brother up, but there's a lot of differences as far as um, the applications. You can control your home. You've got a new Breathe app. And there's a lot of other things we can look into in another video if you're interested. But let me know in the comments below, do you have an Apple Watch? Have you tried this out? Are you looking forward to it? Do you even use your Apple Watch if you have one? Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more of these videos. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.